Hi everyone, Dan Petrovich from Dijon Marketing here. We've got an interesting um, case of CTR optimization today and I'll take you through the steps. First of all, last session um, that we did, a lot of people asked about what tool did you use? So it's u.alguru.com. That's the free tool we used for the CT analysis in this case. So the website we're looking at today is collectiveray.com. We'll be analyzing its CTR, finding anomalies and looking for ideas for CTR experiments. So after processing the data in Alguru, um, we found the site-specific CTR averages for collectiveray.com for non-branded queries only. The reason we did non-branded queries is because branded queries have abnormally high CTRs and we didn't want them contributing to our site averages. Why is it useful to know the site averages? Well, that's the only way to detect any anomalies. And when analyzing click-through rates, it's good to know when something underperforms or overperforms above the expectation. So the first exercise is to find if there's anything that deviates negative or positive. So here's our data sample. We have a high confidence level. We had a lot of keywords involved to determine our statistics. So, and here's what we found. The CTR based traffic loss um, in this case is over 5,000 clicks. Um, we expected over um, seven and a half thousand clicks, close to 8,000 clicks in fact, and um, only got just over two and a half thousand. So there was a significant amount of clicks missing from the SERPs for some reason. So what we found is that um, close to 1,300 queries were responsible for the loss of uh, nearly 7% of the total organic non-branded traffic and around 80% of that loss was caused by um, 774 queries. So the idea is to have a look at those and discover if there's anything um, that stands out as an opportunity. So needless to say we used a ton of keywords, uh, close to 20,000 keywords to run this analysis. So here are some of our offenders. These are the queries that have um, lost traffic by not being as attractive to click on as the rest of the website. Top one being font squirrel, then we've got PSD to WordPress conversion query, uh, web design blog, Bloom email, Avada, um, higher app of developer and so forth. So I did go through a few of them, manually investigated what's happening. So font squirrel query, I went a little bit deeper historically and I found an unusual peak. Um, that happened at one point, which is probably worth investigating. Why did CTR suddenly jump um, for this uh, for this query at that period of uh, time? So, um, in terms of its uh, page CTR, so this C CTR is for the query itself, and this is for the landing page. It seems to fluctuate on a regular basis. There's nothing unusual there. So, when I go and have a look at the actual SERPs, I see that there's a an official place that most people seem to be looking for and in this case I would say that font squirrel is a uh, false positive and there's not much you can do there other than what we already did with the SERP snippet. PSD to WordPress. Um, analyzing this one I found um, an interesting drop in uh, CTR that kind of recovered so there's definitely um, an area of investigation for this particular website. Um, I did notice rank changes as well, but um, a little bit of a counterintuitive impression deviation at the same time. Um, unfortunately, when I had a look at the SERPs, um, I thought, well, there's not much I can do about this because there's like a, a wall of ads for this query. And um, another thing that follows it is the special search features like accordions and videos. Um, which is suitable for people looking for tutorial material. Moving on to web design blog, um, sudden drop in CTR, um, definitely worth investigating. Um, one thing that I did discover with this one is the interesting little special search feature that sits at the top and a lot of ads 
And I thought, well, if I was to focus my time experimenting, I probably wouldn't touch this one because I'm not really confident in being able to improve CTR in such a scenario. The one that did stand out um, as an interesting case is if we invert the whole thing and if we look at the positives, why did higher app developer suddenly uh, surge in its click-through rate, which is otherwise poor, but what happened? What happened here and what can we learn from this? I investigated the SERPs and I found the same wall of ads, the full pack of ads, getting in the way, which I think is part of the reason why this um, search snippet is not being clicked on as much as we would expect. But I think I have an idea for an experiment in this case. Um, so this is the actual snippet. Top five places to hire freelancer, um, iOS, Android, or app developers. Um, and I, I looked at this uh, a little bit and I considered the user intent for this. And I guess part of the problem could be that uh, users on Google can just click on an accordion uh, element of the SERP, get their answer and get out. But I wasn't entirely convinced because when I landed on the page itself, I had to scroll several, several screens to get to the actual answer. Uh, that the page promises. The page promises the top five places to find best app developer. The actual answer is buried very deep down on the page. So here is my actual CTR experiment idea um, and that is to tie the promise more directly to the answer. Top five places to find the best app developer. The answer at the end of all that fluff on the page is um, these five. So here's the experiment. What I'm proposing is to take the description for this uh, page and change it around a little bit. So what we're doing effectively is giving the answer. They are top tall, gun IO, hired, X team, Fiverr Pro. But then what I'm doing next is which one is best for you? We explain how each platform works, its pros and cons, and pricing. I think this is more directly related to the user intent um, for the relevant query. What I would like to see is um, an accordion element that just says top five places, here they are, click through to read more. And the only way to do that is to create a short list instead of having it uh, buried deep down in the, in the page content and move it right at the very top. So once um, we decide to run an experiment like this, we can go back to measuring it. So you can do that on a piece of paper or Excel spreadsheet or Google Docs, but I like to do it in AlgoU because it provides me an interesting platform um, and measures everything for me. So I click on a tab experiments, click on create new experiment, um, fetch the data for the, for the page, and I'm gonna run it for 30 days the keyword is higher app developer. So this is the existing case and this is the new one I'm changing it to. So I'm naming the top five, I'm asking the question, which one is best for you? We explain how each platform works, its pros and cons and pricing. Then I'm clicking create new experiment and it's now in my list of experiments that I'm running. And as the data comes in, I'll be able to see the average CTR on the um, uh, for, on this page for that particular query compared to the change. So for this to work naturally when you create the case B you have to actually go and change the meta description on the page and you have to go and add the suggested content element to the top of the page and then uh, submit it to Google through Search Console to make sure that the experimenter is running with new new parameters. So that is the first experiment idea for this website. Uh, it would be interesting to see if this webmaster could implement it and uh, ping us back with any results. We would be interested to see if they are positive or negative. It's always good to know. Thanks everyone.